Hey there, just a quick video to show you a really cool ship tracker um, that's free to use and you can track ships around the globe. So um, first of all we're going to go into Google and we're going to search marine traffic. I'll put the link in the description. And we can see the website is www.marinetraffic.com. So we'll click on that. Um, excuse me, I'm full of the cold at the minute. You can probably hear it in my voice. Um, so we're on the website. <clears throat> you can register on this website. It's free to register. And that allows you to keep track of ships, uh, to monitor their location and to get uh, active updates um, sent to you just about where they are. So we can see the map here. Uh, we just use our middle mouse button to zoom out. Um, so we can see the map of the world here and you can see the different coloured ships are different classifications of ships. So if I hover over them, you can see the red ship is classified as a tanker, the green ship is a cargo vessel. Um, there's different colours, there's yellow ships, uh, different shades of pink, a tanker, uh, the blue one is tugs and special crafts, the dark blue one, um, we can see if I click onto it, um, is it like a pleasure vessel? Um, so they're color coded. There is a legend you can get. Okay, so basically we can scroll around the map and we can pick choose an area. So for instance, uh, I'm from the UK. So um, if I go to the UK here and start to zoom in, we can see how busy the waters are around um, the United Kingdom and then through into France. Um, it's very busy. So the more we zoom in. We can see here the English Channel is chock a block with ships. Uh, and then what we can do is we can pick a ship um, and we can hover over it and it'll give us the ship's speed, um, how long ago the position of that ship was received via GPS um, and its destination. So if we click on that ship, um, it gives us some pictures. So uh, what we can do is then we can click on that pictures, or sorry, click on that ship and then we can see some pictures that users have provided. So we can scan through the photographs of that ship. Um, we can then see then the photo details on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, the place it was taken uh, was Port and Main. Uh, it gives us the uh, latitude and longitude. It gives us the date it was taken uh, and some other details, what it was actually taken on, which is pretty cool. Um, we can then go out of this here uh, and then we can go back to our map. Okay, so once we're back to the map, we can do this here for any ship in the map, and then we can start to track it. What we can also do is we can click this past track button here, uh, and it'll give us a history of where the, the craft has came from to a certain point, depending on how long the distance is. Um, if, the, if a chart has been plotted, so for instance, if we look at one of these fishing boats, here we can see Francine, it's a trawler, gives us the native flag of Belgium. Um, it gives us the ATD, which is actual time of departure, and it gives us the ETA. So if we click on the past track, we can see that it's came through the channel, and it's been trawling up this part here of the uh, south western coast of England, um, and then probably heading back um, to where it came from. So uh, you'll notice that quite a lot with fishing boats, for instance, if we... Uh, track it this here comes up because we can only have one live track at the, at the time so we can see uh, quite a lot of the fishing boats seem to be uh, trawling off this coast here and you can see how uh, sort of rigorously the fishing boat has been trawling up and down okay so that's pretty much it now you can filter vessels um, if you know the name of one or if you want to filter via country or filter via type um, we can use this filter icon here in the left we click on that, it gives us ship type, capacity, it gives us other particulars about it, um, which for some of them you need full access, uh, which is uh, charged. Uh, current status, voyage, so we can actually put the departure and destination in, um, and then last anchored. We can then let's go to my fleet, so if you're registered, um, you can follow a few ships here. I think it gives you two or three free uh, before uh, you have to go to the paid version. Uh, we have layers, which I don't really use. We have the weather. This here is pretty cool. It's called Destiny Map. Okay, so when we switch it on, um, it shows the concentration of vessels along different routes in the sea, which is pretty cool. So you can see by the color, obviously the darker the color, uh, the busier the route. Um, so we can see here when we go up through the channel and we come up to uh, between uh, France and the United Kingdom, we can see, and then we move up into the North Sea, we can see the vessels uh, out and around. Mostly the red ones will be fishing boats. And then we can see all the sort of routes of the vessels crossing the sea. So it's pretty insane uh, how, he how heavy 
uh, the traffic is in the sea. And you can see then quite a lot of the ships coming from um, the United States and Southern America, all coming across the North Atlantic um, and coming and filtering through um, the English Channel heading to uh, mainland Europe. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Once we zoom out far enough, we lose the ships. So we need to zoom back in again then into a quadrant uh, to get an eye on the ships. There we go. Okay, and we can zoom around. So I usually just leave that off. It's pretty cool to see, but I find it a lot heavier then uh, on the map. Okay, we can see some of the spots. Uh, usually a spot means that the vessel isn't moving. So if we click on it, it gives us the uh, the ship's details as before. Uh, we can click on vessel details in this. Um, and it'll give us the actual call sign of the vehicle. It gives us the overall length. It gives us the dead weight. It gives us the gross tonnage. It gives us the type. Uh, it gives us quite a lot of information about it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can upload your own photographs if you do see this in a port, uh, and it can also give us the uh, draft of the, the the vessel. Okay, so really, really good for free. You can register and you get some more information, but to be quite honest, uh, I just find it fun to uh, float about on it and sort of check some of the vehicles in my or some of the uh, boats in my area. Uh, but yeah, I hope this has helped. And uh, if you have a specific vehicle in mind, you can search the name of the ship. Uh, and if it has an active GPS, it'll pop up and it'll take you to it on the map, which is really cool. We can also change the map type from a standard map to a simple map to a satellite map, uh, which is also pretty cool. So we can actually see a satellite view as well while we're viewing the ships, uh, which is pretty quick actually. It doesn't uh, it doesn't lag too much, um, and we can have it onto Open Street, which is another type of map, which is just a street map. So really, really cool free ship tracker. Um, which you don't have to register with if you don't want to. If you register, it gives you the option to trace a couple of ships or keep an eye on them, sorry, to track them. But without that there, you can still utilize it uh, to its full extent, really, for what you need it for. Uh, and you can find yourself getting lost for hours, uh, just sort of farting about, clicking on and looking at different ships. Uh, and looking, if we go into some of the major ports, for instance, uh, so if we come around, uh, where will we try? Stockholm, we're going to look for, okay, so we'll come down here, and we'll try and find, for instance, if we see the, through the, the sort of the waterway here in uh, Amsterdam, we can see some of the ships uh, making its way through this passageway, um, and you see all sorts uh, through here. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, just um, as, a, as a free piece of software. Um, I hope you liked the video and sorry about the cold. I know it probably sound terrible, but um, yeah, thanks for watching.